So your casting was it fifteen or was it sixteen? I mean, what do you want? It to be? <laughs> <laughs> Say the higher one. I want it to be what it is. Well, that's not fun. Then it's fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, it has disadvantage, so um. Uh, turn the unholy. Turn the unholy. Tell me what uh, I can't remember the come on, come on, come on. I don't what the macro is to do disadvantage. Cool thing. Um, nope. Ignore that. Oh, come on, no. Uh, I think that would have passed it. It, it would have like done. A 16 would have. It would have done because it has a plus yeah, nine. Oh, yeah. Um, so okay. We well, I'm just gonna roll count. it. I'm just gonna roll it twice. Um, okay. And we're gonna take the lowest of these two results. Okay, so the first one is a 23. So it will pass with flying colors. So we will ignore that one. It's gonna, Chris, it's gonna, it's gonna be a four. Just watch, it's gonna be a four. I'll roll it again. Okay, here we go. Watch, watch. Just cast a spell, it's a four. It's trying to manifest it. Almost a three there. Trying to manifest it. That hurts so bad. You stand up. Hold your holy symbol to Pelor and pray for his guiding light um, to spread his um, his um, benevolence over this hideous, nasty abomination to Pelor. But I'm afraid this thing doesn't seem to care. Um, seems to be resistant to your charms um oh. all right let's see we had uh, and we'd already rolled initiatives um so that was been the first turn because we had well actually 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 uh, i'm trying to remember now did we have initiative when this thing appeared, or did everybody basically just stand there and let her do her thing? I don't remember, honestly. You're very we quiet. Can just, we Wait. can just look. We rolled it. I think we rolled initiative. Oh, we did. Yeah, we yeah. absolutely did. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Um, we rolled initiative, but... Um, yeah, because Fennifer doesn't go until, like, last out of all of y'all's. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. We were we were waiting because she said she was going to do something. Okay. So was, yeah, y'all basically yeah. allowed her. Yeah. You kind of just stood there and waited for her to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it did not work. Um, did he at least like look over his shoulder real quick though, just to check? <laughs> didn't seem to, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um. But nobody kind of held their action, right? Because no one said, I'm going to hold my action in case of blah, 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 blah. No, okay. You're all just going to just gonna stand there and pray that this works, which it didn't. Mm. Um, in that case, um, the first thing that it is going to do on its turn is those searching eyes that it's been utilizing. Ah. Um... <laughs> Why is this not? Spring I can just. Is it my computer or oh, is man. stuff just broke tonight? I don't know. Uh -oh. uh, no. Let's try it one more time. Nope. <sighs> Come on now. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to back out and back in. Stuff's all freaky. Combat's, combat's over, I guess. <laughs> I have to skip this one. Sorry, everyone. Yep, I don't know what's wrong with it, but uh, for some reason it's not hmm. playing nice. Uh, try once more. Okay. And... Right. Okay, um, yes, so it is, it kind of like looks down and 
shines that huge, like, conical beam of light from its eyes. Um, everybody needs to make a DC 17 um, constitution save. Ooh, I get... Ooh, yeah. I get uh, <coughs> advantage on this. <sighs> Me too. Ooh, but my wait. dwarven... Uh, Wait, maybe I did. Yeah, basically it's like its eyes light up and two huge big like beams of light kind of cone out and like and like light up the area where you guys are standing. That's oh, one of my no. skills. Cool. Con save with advantage. Oh crap. Oh boy. Oh, oh! It's starting. <laughs> no. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Oh, Let it wash over you, gang. Let it <laughs> wash it. over you. Natural 20! <laughs> well, there's that natural, natural 20 soon. already. Yep. Uh, I can resist stuff too, you demon. <laughs> watch this. <laughs> and there you go. Those people that bet on snugs. Okay, um, so let's see. Uh, Who was it? Who was it? So basically, oh. Fennifer and Lyra failed, huh? Yeah. There, there you go, my my benevolent followers. Enjoy and reap the ben <laughs> reap the rewards of your trust in me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, right. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> pardon the pun, but Lyra and Fennifer, you are. Blinded by the light. Oh, no. uh, okay. Each turn, you may attempt to roll again to regain eyesight, but until then, you are considered blinded. Means you have okay. disadvantage on things you try to do, and uh, things have advantage on things that they want to try to do. Okay. So. Uh, I can't see. Me neither. Alrighty. Oh God. Hello. And then ah, nah. singular attack. Uh, who's I at front? Me. Uh, ironically, yeah. the two people up front are the two that are blinded. Cool. Oh shit! Oh um, no! So oh, he got a he got a he got a better uh, initiative than I did. Oh damn! No, he he got the worst. Of it. He got last. But Fenifer, you all you all let you all did nothing and then let Fenifer go. Right? He's right after her. Oh, okay. Yeah, he rolled even lower than all of us, I yeah. think. Right? Okay. So it okay. goes back to the top after his action. I see. Yeah. Okay. That's why, because nobody kind of like held their action. Everyone basically just said, no, we're going to just wait and see what she does. So, um. Gotcha. Alrighty. So, uh, he is going to attempt to, with his mighty right hand, one of you two is getting swatted at. Uh, one or a two, he will swat at Fennifer. Three or a four, he will swat at Lyra. Let's see. One or a two, Fennifer. Okay. Oh. Good. And he has advantage because you are blind. Oh. Um, which he may not need. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't have any spell to lift that. Oh, Ooh. he might need it. <laughs> nice. Hey. All right, advantage. Hold on. He's got oh. advantage. Uh, yeah, oh okay. my god. god goodness good <laughs> all righty um you can't see it but you'll sure as hell feel Oof. it as his huge Oof. big hand comes smashing down um blasting Damn. you glancing off of your shield almost knocking you to the floor 28 points well, now who oh, did that god, it hurt. like you don't know <laughs> Yeah, ah, uh, that was me. What? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Top of the round, it is Fiffany's turn. All right, I am. I'm going to uh, step forward because I want to get up there because I see them all, the, the two up there, going around. So is it? I don't know if it's possible, but I basically want to. And if this is two actions, tell me because I won't do it in that case. I want to get up there and just kind of shove the two to the side, and then cast a spell. That would be two actions. It would be okay. Then I'm still moving I'm up there. And okay, then I'm still going like to move over here. Around. That yeah. moving up there is not that would be fine. But if you physically okay. try to push them away, then that would be an action. Yes. No problem. I'm going to get up there, and I am casting slow on this thing. Okay. All righty. 
because I want to slow this big old brute down. Alrighty. Um, let's see. I believe it makes a wisdom save. Yeah. It does. And yours is... 17. How much? 17. Okay. And... Oh my god! That plus it's 9 for that too? Holy shit! Uh, it, 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 uh, wisdom is plus nine, yep, and charisma is plus Jesus. nine. Jesus. can't be that smart. Oh, it's not smart. It's wise. <laughs> it's, it's, wise. it's, well, it's not even really wise, but it has a high wisdom save. It's Fuck. more of a creation type thing as opposed to a inherent yeah. type thing. Um, well, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, well, it was a good try. And Lyra, you are blinded, but you may make another saving throw to try to avoid being blinded. Okay, con save stuff. Yep. Okay. Uh, DC go. 17. Uh, nope. Nope, oh, okay. Um, you are still able to do something, even though you're blind. I mean, you can... Yeah. You can shoot at it. You know it's a big thing in that direction. <laughs> you have disadvantage, but you can definitely shoot at it. Yeah. I guess I'll just... Yeah, I'm going to shoot twice at it and just, like... Am I shooting in the right way? Uh, <laughs> it, it, yes, yes. It's big, and it's in front of you. You can't... Well, you can oh, miss. Sorry, but, I didn't do disadvantage. Well, but... Well, it's gonna miss anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, and that the disadvantage is that. Oh, yeah, you okay, do hit so. it. Hey. Nice. Um, so I hit it. Hit it with the eight. And then <laughs> I'm just gonna crouch down because I'm blind and I'm just going to use my hide in plain sight. Feeling vulnerable. <laughs> mm. Alright, Lasticus, yeah. swallow. Good move. Uh, swallow. <laughs> I'm going to use my move action to move up a little bit or over. Okay. And then I'm going to misty step uh, to get kind of behind it. Uh, um, 30 feet. Uh, I don't think you can get 30 You don't think you can get behind it. 30 feet. Well, I mean, if I can move 30 feet, right? Uh, you, then, well, you can get to there, yeah. You're not really behind it, but you, you can get to there. Well, then Misty stepping to, again, like... Yeah. I use my move and then Misty step. Yeah, you not necessarily, action. like, behind it, behind it, but... Oh, you're right, right. Its, yeah, yeah. But you're to, its, um, you're to its right flank, for sure. Um, nice. And then, because I did a bonus action spell, I'm going to cast a Firebolt at its back. Okay. If it decides to go, because I think... There you go. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Alrighty, you will inflict 12 points of fire damage. Alright. <laughs> little burst of fire impacts its nasty, wet, damp, rotten back. Um, let's see. We are Fennifer. You may make another saving throw. Okay. Try to not be blind. Okay. Here goes. Come on, you got this. Here goes. You're a Connie gal. Oh, Lord. Oh, Okay. Uh, again, you may I'm still so act. Sad. You just have disadvantage. Yes. I'm going to... Ooh, can I do this? Now, it says visual component, but I'm doing it on myself. Um, pop the spell up. Let me see. Uh, lesser restoration. Lesser restoration? <laughs> lesser restoration. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no. I, I, I know well, where I yeah, am. I, you know where you are. I certainly, <laughs> I am certainly I mean, not you go going like this. to yeah. R A W on right? co over common sense. <laughs> yeah, like oh, I can't quite. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, you know where you are, so you could definitely cast restoration on yourself. Right. I just want the disadvantage, not on me. So I'm going to cast that to cure my blindness. So okay. I can yep. Say that again. will work. You are the blindness Yay. is auto removed. Yeah. Um, that was your physical action. You still have a move if you wish. Um, I am just going to step in front of Lyra. Okay. Try to block her. Don't worry, I got you. All right, it is its turn. Um, it's relatively unaware of Lasticus's presence, really. I mean, he zapped it for a little bit in the back, but um, it's still really focusing on what we've got going on up front. Okay, it's going to make two attacks. Um, it's full action. And I think it's logical. One left, one... It kind of swap, 
swapped will be um, one at Fiffany and one at Fennifer. Hey. I mean, you guys are moved up there to try to yeah. draw its fire, so far Absolutely. be it for me to ignore your ability to do that. Shield banging okay. and screaming as you are. And it no longer has advantage. Alrighty, its first mighty hand comes swapping down towards Tiffany. It will hit you? Mm hmm. Okay. The sheer force of its massive hand, it will Holy blow Jesus. you for uh, 28 points of physical blunt Yikes. damage. The second one will go towards Fennifer. Ah. Will that hit, or was that yeah. just a miss? It does. Okay. Damn, this thing's not gonna miss, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's. It can miss, but um. For thirty-five oh, points of physical damage. Okay. Okay. Um. Not it, looking great. Back to the top, Fifany. You're up. I mean, I have nothing. That this guy's gonna save against literally everything I have here. So, um, I'm gonna hit him with a guiding bolt then. Okay. Uh, level. Oh, I don't know. Five. No, give it, give it, give him <laughs> all of it. Give him yeah. all the guidances. Yeah, I'm hitting him. I'm hitting him good. So we'll do the cast spell first, and then we'll just add whatever we need to add there. Forty radiant damage. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So that is a sixteen to hit. Uh, which but is only exactly a... on the button. Oh, thank freaking God. Uh, okay. he's, his AC is not all that, because he's massive and he's Four. slow. So um, any armor he has is from his thick, leathery skin. It's a horrible roll. Um, okay. However, um, so that was the total 16? No, that was just with... A normal level one. I did a level five. Okay, so um, five, basically, four, yeah, four more d six. Second level, so add another forty six. Yep, I'm rolling that now. Roll high. There yeah. we go. There we go. Oh. So that's ten, twenty, thirty two points of damage. Now, um, that seemed to hurt significantly more than you expected it to. Ooh. Um, okay. The radiant damage seems to really put the singe on this thing. Like the holy, the holy blast of light that struck it, really kind of like burnt a huge section of skin away from it. Um, okay. It is, um, Interesting. Yeah, it's vulnerable to radiant damage. Yes. So, um, you actually did. Ten, let's see. Upon, okay. Upon so you, seeing that. Um, Oh, you did 32, you actually did 64. Oh, Ooh. shit. Okay. Upon seeing that it really ripped a part of him off, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to take a few steps over to Lyra and <coughs> as a bonus ah. action cast Holy Weapon. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, <gasps> boop, like that on her, on her, air, the tip of her arrow, and it's going to shing, shine up with, with holy, uh, holy energy and holy weapon power. emits My bow? Well, I mean the bow. Not okay. The bow. I, I meant, but the arrow's gonna shine, you know what I mean? But Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's the bow. Give yep. me your attacks. What the... did you do? I f don't touch me. Well, I'm just, I'm helping. Just here, do me a favor and just, uh, just, just point plunk my him. bow where I should shoot. Just plunk him a few times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hon, could you help her out? All right. Um, where she gets saving <laughs> throw? Okay. Saving throw. Come on. Come on, Lyra. The light's helping you see. Follow the light. Use Lyra's no, luck. Okay. I'd um, like to use so, Lyra's luck okay. to redo this. You may use. <laughs> Come on. Shit. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, no. no. Not that lucky. Oh, uh, no. Uh, well, you can shoot at it with okay. disadvantage, but if you hit, um, at least you got an extra two d eight radiant damage going for you. First attack. Which I'm just miss. pointing in an arbitrary direction, which is just forward. <laughs> oh crap. Ah. Uh, uh, that's on. the first Keep one. Forgetting to do the thing. Okay. You hit. You hit. All right. uh, so you've done five points of regular damage, but you get to add 2d8 radiant damage. Um, Nine. Hold on. Let's see. Well, let me say that. Um, that makes a save first, right? What does? Uh, let's radiant? see. Uh, 
As a bonus action on your turn, you can dismiss... Oh, no, that, that's for you. That's for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, did I hit him? It. I don't know. Uh, you yeah, did. you got one. Um, and that's... Drop my bonus. 18 <laughs> points of radiant damage. So a total of nice. 23. Okay. Thank you. Sure, no problem. I'm better than this. <laughs> I'm better than this. <laughs> um... All right, Lasticus. Yeah, I'm going to do um, a big spell, which will take me out of round to activate. But I am casting Tensor's Transformation. Okay. Which basically Ooh. makes me gain 50 temporary hit points. My weapons have additional force damage when I hit with them. I get proficiency with them, and I get advantage with them. And um, I can't cast any spells while I'm concentrating on this. So but you can attack twice, if I remember right, right? Instead of I, just once? Yes, but I, I, um, I'm I, casting it, so I then I pull both my war picks that I never use. Yeah, so that, so this right. round you can't do anything. but Right. But the I'm next gearing round. up for the next round. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Um, then Fennifer, you are up. here. All right. I'm going to give it a smack. Can I reach it? You can reach a piece of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hit it in the shin, ankle. And would you <laughs> say this is a construct? Perhaps? It is not a construct, but it <laughs> is definitely, it, 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 it has the undead archetype. Okay. Which is why you, A, could turn it and, uh, but it, it does have a weakness, which is the radiant all right, in that case, then, oh, shit, do, oh. Oh, I just noticed I've got devil horns on. I didn't mean to have those. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go for it. Let's try to hit this thing. Yeah, it's a demon, obviously. Everything's demons. Everything's <laughs> demons. Okay. Of course. One attack. Uh, that will not hit the target, I'm afraid. Okay. With your mace of smiting, oh smiter. Please? That will. Okay. It will do 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, like but that. it is... How does that make up? It's D6. Because it's also... It says D6 and a D8, right? With what? My weapon? Yeah, well, your your mace of smiting does both blunt and Blood and radiance, so the radiant, radiant part portion of that needs to be doubled. Um, so do another D eight then? No, you just double whatever it was. Oh, I'm just that. looking at the portion. So, um, is it the is it the D eight is the radiant or the D six? Uh, that was my question. Yeah. Uh, where would I find that? Well, I will tell you, because a mace does d6 damage, so the d8 must be the radiant. It's gotta be, right? Um, so, be. that part of it was the... Was a 3, was a, so that's 6. Was so 6 plus 5 is 11, 12, 15 damage total. Okay. You. You're gonna put a little extra, little extra sting on it. Little extra stank. Do want... an undead construct giant thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, okay, so the 3D uh, extra 3D8 radiant damage, so you can roll that. Um, for 14, so that's 28 additional radiant damage. Uh, but you can't blind it because it doesn't actually have the ability to see in conventional terms. So you can't blind it. But you did get a ton of extra radiant damage. That makes me real mad. So. I'll take it. Yeah. 
Um, kind of senses where things are alive and stuff, not really sees them. But that brings it up. Okie dokie. Um, it is just going to go right ahead and do what it did last time. It is not a particularly tactical thing. It is just smash, squish, squish, smash. Um, and where is everybody? Probably they're both coming at Finifer. If you're up front and the other two are behind you, um, that one will miss. That Ooh. misses. And the second one will Ooh. also miss. <laughs> wow. Yay. Nice. You moved in close, smacked it with a mace, and I guess it just, you were too close and it overshot, it swipes at you. All right. Good chat deal. Turn my um, up. Tiffany, you're up. Okay. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to keep doing the thing that hurts this guy. So now I'm going to cast a Guiding Bolt level four. Okay. That's because my two level fives are burned, and that's the only thing I can do that's going to help. So at the moment. But it helps a lot. Yes, it does. And once I figured it out, I am just going to keep on going. So let me just cast the spell. Where did you go, Guiding Bolt? Hello, Guiding Bolt. Hello, Guiding Bolt. There you are. Okay, here's the spell attack. Come out. Come out. (laughs) Oh, Oh, son of a bee. Uh, 15 misses by a point. Wow, that's so bad. Sorry, dude. That's horrible. Damn it. Hold on. Oh, never mind. Don't hold on. <laughs> don't don't oh, hold no. on. That's why you wish you had that. Don't forget my plus one. Yeah. I know. But, I all righty. Well, that that is. Lyra, so you are dumb. up. You may attempt to be unblinded. Okay. Again. I rub my eyes. Get some rainwater in there. Try. It's like I still can't see anything. <laughs> uh, What's the DC? I don't know. Uh, the DC for that was 17. You passed. Oh, nice. nice! I rub my eyes and suddenly I can see! My hands are magic! Holy rainwater! <laughs> I can do this! I stand up proudly and fire off two shots. Here, longbow. Alrighty. Let them rip. First one. Uh, we'll hit. There's the second. Oh. We'll miss. So you hit it for one. Uh, you'll do seven points of piercing damage. But you also get extra 2d8 radiant. So there's another 18 points of damage. Okay, here it goes. We got nine. Yep, added and doubled. Okay. Not bad. Doing good. <laughs> we'll get it. We got how's, this. How's he looking? We're chipping away. Um, it's hard to tell because it was pretty decomposed in the first place. Oh, okay. um, but there, there's definitely more bone visible. Um, pieces of bone have been blasted out, and it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, saying it looks worse for wear seems to be really a bad description, but it's hmm. more worserer for wearer than it was erer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and Lasticus, you are up. All right, I'm doing a full attack. Two with my main hand, and I'm using a bonus action to attack with my off hand. Okay. So three attacks total. Um, um, yes. All with advantage because of the spell. All right, so the first one will hit. Uh, no radiant damage, unfortunately, but these are my three attacks. All three will hit, so a total nice. of 30 points of damage. Just chipping away at its shins and its nice. behind. Nice. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm prospecting, guys. I'm prospecting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lasticus. Uh, Fennifer, you're up. Me. Okay. I'm gonna. I think I just gotta keep chipping away. All right. I'm also very hurt. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go for another smack. Okay. Wait in there, holy of holies. Please get him. Uh, you will hit with that. Um, that will strike the target. Yep, for eight. Okay. Um, okay. Of which, let's see, two of that was radiant, so we double that, so it's a total yep. of ten. Okay. And then I'm going to attack again. That one will not hit the target. No! I'm going to add another smite, though. Oh, one. On that first 
one. Okay. The only one I have is the for radiant is that one, so I will just do another blinding, even though I know it won't blind it. Nope, but it will still do um, 3d8 additional radiant damage. And there's that. Oh, Ooh, much better. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. That, nice. that's awesome. Almost maximum. Nice. So 23 has 46. Uh, don't worry. Radiant. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep backing away. Okay, yeah, that that I'm definitely uh, that definitely smarted is un, is um unholy ass. Um, okay. Yeah, you you definitely got you definitely incurred the wrath, and you're still up front. Okay. Mm-hmm. That hits. Might be going down, gang. To die. Oh, that does only not. Once, oh, luckily. Nice. Hey, Please be low, please be low. All right. How bad are you looking? The Real massive bad. hand what? comes down. 23 points of I said that. blunt damage. Are you up? Yeah, but... Oof. But probably barely. barely. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Um, back to the top, Fiffany. Yeah, all right. So I see... I see... Yeah, I mean, you see it kind of like smack her, and she's kind of <laughs> like stumbles to her knees and like yep. has to have a huge deep breath and push herself back up. It's clear that she is waning under the Yep, so I am just thing. I don't want to see her go down. I reach over, put my hand on her shoulder and cast heal. Uh thank that's you. a seventy pointer, right? Yep, straight seventy points. Woo, thank you. Whoa. Oh my lord. Yeah, you alright? <gasps> Keep it up, come on. That's okay, cool. I got we need this. you I we got... need you to get in there and smack him. I got this, I got this. Okay, let's go. Okay, um, and Lyra. Yeah, that's my only thing. With your do. ability to shoot and see again. Absolutely. Um, I hit it and crit it. Touchy, touchy. Come on, <laughs> baby, hit him twice. Hit him, hit him two times with both I'm, arrows. That's what you want to do. In addition to that, though, I'm like, now that I can see, I can do this. And um, I'm going to add lightning arrow to my weapon. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Um, oh, no. Well, oh, no. That's, well, that's not an attack, is that it? That wasn't my... Oh. I don't know. That was your attack? Yeah, that was an attack. Yeah, oh, lightning shit. arrow basically it's it replaces your Auto it makes the cast. attack lightning based. Yes. Did it add my pluses? Oh. I mean, it still uh, takes two d eight lightning damage if it misses, right? Because it's yeah, crackly. Um, but <laughs> Hold on, did it me... do the right? Because well, it it just says next time you make a ranged weapon attack. Um, did it add my pluses? Yeah, because it rolls. Well, it only rolled an eight, or, or did it roll a five? I don't know. I didn't I can't see. Tell. It I can't tell. It rolled a five. It rolled <laughs> a five. Was oh, it a five? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, good. I missed. So I missed. So it takes uh, two. But D8? it still takes two d eight points of lightning damage. Okay. Okay. There's some lightning damage. But and then... fortunately, as resistant or as a. Oh, it's. It's resistant to lightning. Even in the damage. rain. Yeah. Even in the rain. Even in the, the rain. rain. <laughs> And then, do I still do the radiant damage? Uh, no, yeah. because you missed. You didn't hit it. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, let me do my second attack. Oh, yep. Fuck. Hey, um, hit it with two, please. Like I said, I'm what sorry. are you doing? I'm trying. That one. Like, there we go. Nice. That's 12 Good points damage of piercing too. damage, and then you okay. can um, stick some radiant on top of that for Ooh, 22. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a 33 Ooh. pointer. Why didn't my lightning work? Just use the power of P lore. What do you. Come on. <sighs> It's working for me. It's okay. working for everyone. Okay. It works for everyone all the time, no matter what the situation. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, only, it's, your, it's your fault if it doesn't work. That's right. right. Atlasticus, you're up. Yeah, I'm I'm repeating my previous. Are you just like, ha? <laughs> yeah, he's like just behind this thing, just go wailing on it. Uh, Dude, this hits. Shaving him down. Yeah, okay. So, so he's that's, just a little uh, head. 25 yeah. total. No, you, you, you legit here. <laughs> well, I imagine this what? thing is like this thing is like rotted and starting to corrode. I imagine like it's a giant truffle, and you're just like shaving little pieces, little pieces off. Of it. off, yeah. Giant truffle, it's freshly uh, grated. Yeah, this him thing. Over there. Um, <laughs> you can see like where the mace impacts on the shins and the pickaxes on the shins. Like a lot of the bone is cracked and and like you can kind of see um, weaknesses forming in the bone structure. Um, as well as so much of the flesh has been like seared away and burned by this radiance. Um, it definitely 
seems like it is beginning to kind of sway and topple and have a hard time rema- uh, maintaining its full balance. Um, uh, let's see. Fennifer. Okay. After being blessed with holy healing from your sister. Yeah. Sister Fiffany. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go for another one. Can you kill somebody by just hitting his ankle? Sure you can. There's <laughs> one. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Not... Our rolls. All right, again, please. Just. Oh, oh um, thank okay. God. So that's, uh, but the good news is six of that was radiant. Yes. That's and then 13. I'm gonna do... No, uh, yes, 13. My last little smite here. Yep. And three more D8. Ow. Oh. Uh, well, that wasn't as good, but it's still not terrible. Okay. I'm getting him. I'm hacking him down. Ooh, yeah, you are. It's... Taste it. Right. This may be its last. This may be its last. <laughs> this may be its last attempt to do anything as it Ooh. wheels Ooh. its huge arms down once again towards you. He'll get me. Uh, he's gonna get you Ooh. twice. Yikes! Yep. Okay. Thank God Uh-oh. for the heal. Okay. Yeah. The first mighty blow will do thirty-six. Oh my Ooh. God. Hey. <laughs> All that healing. And the second Oops. mighty blow will do 27. Thanks. Still not enough to eradicate <laughs> the 70-point uh, heal, so you're still still standing. Um, okay. But this thing oh, looks like it is absolutely on its last leg. Fiffany. Yep. What you got I'm for doing, us? I got one more level four spell to burn. Uh, actually, two, but I'm going to use uh, one more time, and I'm going to say... Demon, fail the burn! And I'm gonna <laughs> blast him with another guiding bolt that I'm that I'm sure will be able to hit him. So here's that. It was twenty to roll off, but I got him. You got it. Okay, thank Woo! you. <laughs> Look at all that damage. Yeah. And then Feels just the burn. All right. And then just that is forty-two. Well, plus Woo! points of wow. this. Plus, plus this. That. Plus another 20. Double. So that's 62. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, get him, get him, give get him. me the description of how this particular <laughs> huge blast of radiance is going to destroy this thing because you're taking it down. Yeah. First, it's going to, it's going to, you're going to hear the wind kind of, and it bursts out of me like almost, almost a, a sound shockwave as it goes like the forward. Sun. Yeah. Like, like that but you can also hear oh, just a little <laughs> bit as and you don't know if it's me or if it's or if it's Pilor's power coming through me it's it's a combination of the two because I'm also doing it yes of okay. as, as we chorus as we chorus this this burning light as it starts to uh just start to pull and tear away at his skin and bone structure um uh Almost like it's burning and then and then having it just dissipate into dust. I gotcha. So it's like, yeah, almost like a, a fiery fadeaway sort of yes. effect. Yes. Like you <laughs> see the, that marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yep. You'll see. You see the radiant, um, the the kind of glowing embers of radiance, kind of like on the edges of it as it eats towards him up and down, um, and eventually all there is left is. Piles of massive bones, ginormous femurs, um, and stuff collapse to the ground uh, in a huge pile. Um, this thing is sent back to whence it has came, um, and there is still a massive, great, big, human-shaped crevasse on the ground, um, <laughs> which uh, looks like Lasticus. Yeah, very, very nearly <laughs> fell in. <laughs> very nearly Careful. fell. In. But logically. <laughs> You wouldn't have fell in it. You wouldn't have. No, I wouldn't have yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have been dumb enough to jump down in there. Um, oh, so, no. alrighty. <laughs> um, yes, um, it is destroyed. Well done. Really? All right. I'm about to drop Dang. my knee a little bit. Like we got him. We got, we got him. him. Oh, you, you all right? I can't yeah. believe we did that. Did you see how big it was? We killed that. 
Yeah, no, the power of oh Pilar overcomes God. all things. Are you okay? No, oh, yeah, I just, that last one really uh, kind of took me down again. I got you. Oh, all right. Yeah, um, I'm going to put so my, my hand on her shoulder and cast Cure Wounds level four, which is my last level four spell. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Level three, so I'm going to keep a level four. Nah, level four. I'm going to heal her. Okay. So level four, this is the first cast. Oh, there you go. And then it's, All what, right. two more? One, two, three more D8s here coming up for you. Not oh, bad. not bad. Okay. okay. So uh, 24 points of Glorian right, um, holy healing for you. You feeling good? So we yeah. can kind of rest up. Hey, yes. what are you? What you? Hey, you missed it, huh? Missed what? I'm standing there with my two pants. Yeah. Why are you over there? What are you doing? <laughs> I was I was hacking at its at, at its leg at its feet. You know. Like, could we see? Could we see you? Be feet. Like behind? Well, oh. I was kind of off to the side. So oh, okay. Okay. I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you might have caught a glimpse of him over there. Just hey, why don't why don't you like? Oh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> like cast a spell or something. Uh, because I did cast a spell. I, you did? I, I didn't. I didn't what, see any like spell? lights or regret. It was the spell to make me go really hard on this, you know. What? Right, well, you go know that's kind of like our spell. thing, right? Yeah, so, so you, you did just, like a... You do. You need to do the, the special... Like the fireballs and... Uh, yeah. The big right. blow-ups. I didn't see uh, any of that. Or like I, make him small so I could have like maybe hit him easier. So you just like... You would just, you cast what? Pre-workout or something? <laughs> is that what you did? Just to give yourself a little cardio boost? Five-hour energy. Yeah, is that what you did? Is that yeah. Yeah. what you did? <laughs> I ain't seen no wings on you. <laughs> I never, cast what I did. Am. Given the situation, I knew what would work best. And I'm going to sheave my, my Warpix and dispel <laughs> the Tensor's transformation. Well, I don't know. I probably, know. Honestly, with this spell, I probably look like beastly. Like, let's be real here. Are like you all jacked up? <laughs> you endow yourself with endurance and martial prowess field by magic. Okay, so it's swirling around me. Like, yeah. I don't Jack look me. entirely like a puny <laughs> guy. I mean, magic is swirling around me that makes me okay. look stronger and more martial. Yes. Yeah. Um, mm. Now, look at look at Elasticus. He looks decidedly more Marshall. Marshall, Marshall right now. Marshall. <laughs> oh, I was I'm, that was on the tip of my tongue. I'm I'm gonna dispel. I'm gonna stop my concentration, so I have to roll a 15 or higher constant concentration, or else suffer exhaustion. Oh, yeah. It lasts so I fail. So it's <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, he, he, he basically like just goes <laughs> and collapses to the ground. He juiced. Yeah, he's totally oh, juiced. No. The come down. Mm. Okay, big boy, take it easy over there. You're at. Is it, is it oh. just uh, is it just one That's... level of exhaustion? Yeah, it's just one level of okay. exhaustion. That's why you leave the heavy lifting to me. Okay, I can take take some hits like that. And, you, and... on the other hand, I. Oh, what it wasn't a hit I took. Don't worry. It was, what what if it swung around and smacked you? What were we gonna do? I can't get over there to you in time. I was protected. It was okay. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. I don't really like that. I'd rather you just do the cool little spells. <laughs> I mean, I think I might agree. So, with um, one level, all that is is disadvantage on ability checks. So, okay, so you're not okay. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm not like super crippled, but I mean, you need like. I'm gonna kind of look over at him. I mean, you look fine. I am fine. I'm oh, perfectly uh, fine. And uh, Lyra's bow is gonna get into my vision of, oh rat um and i'm gonna dispel stop concentration on the holy weapon on her bow so it's gonna s dim down now okay uh, that was good so how how to feel uh wielding the power of pilor in your hands ew what do you mean what do you mean in my hands ew. yeah ew. why do you think it was all glowy why do you think it did why do you think it worked so much yeah even when you can see because I was able to dissipate the blindness with my own hands, and I realized mm. I had some kind of magic, so I put it into my bow. Right, you followed the light through the darkness, through the blindness, mm -hmm. so then you could, once I, you were lost, and now I, you are found. I, I thought yeah, it blind, was all me. The blindness literally, is me. Literally saw the light. I, I mean, you don't else? understand how dark it was in the place that I just went. I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> I also couldn't I see. I was fighting a beast sight unseen. It was, <laughs> it was incredible. The same, the same hey, one? Hey. Hey, why are why are we fighting each other? We did it. Good job, not, everybody. We're not well, fighting. We, 
We're just Where discussing. This is yeah. constructive. This, this is, is constructive. constructive. I, I fail to see how this is constructive. I mean, well, that's, you know, maybe because you're way over there and not over here. <laughs> yeah, maybe if, if you were on, if the perspective of where we are here, mm -hmm. you might you see, see the same thing we see. Right, which is, which is. Pilor helps everybody be better at fighting. Bingo, there it is. <laughs> so, there you I mean, go. I, I, right on the nose there, sister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, hey, where are we so, going? We How just you the demon. Are we, uh, we go home? Are we all done? Or? Well, there's a, there's a path over here. So what was that? Was that just like a guardian or something? What what, what, what was he doing? Just chilling? Like is he is he just waiting for us to come yeah, by? Has what, anyone what? seen one of those before? Because uh, I have not. I've seen smaller versions of those things. Okay, well that's just a zombie. That's not anything special. <laughs> I see those all the time. Yeah, I've seen those a were colossal giants that protect areas that they won't don't want people in. Simple. Giants, as in oh. plural, like there yeah. might be more. Or... Be more. He got like a brother. No, uh, I don't think they travel Cousin? in packs. All right, okay. so I mean, you're Mister... good. Okay, okay, so you were the monster expert. You said good. That's great. We're good. You I'm are sure the, uh, the only one. Thank you, kitty. Thank you, sir. Twelve months. Thank you. Oh, yeah. One year. One year. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, and and, uh, and you're the uh, you're the the, the uh, spelunker over there. So what, what? How's that look? How's that look? That little uh, passage. Uh, well, don't go where it came out of because you'll be down there. Um, no, I'm saying yeah, where, you said also, there's a path. You, you yeah. kind of notice that the sides of it are kind of like falling in a little bit, and it's kind of like becoming almost like a muddy quagmire down at the bottom of it with all this rain. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, might not be at all safe to fall in there. Would be pretty mm -hmm. tough to yeah, climb out the, at this the, point. The path beyond looks good. I mean, it's a path. It leads towards. All right. Leads to get out of here just in case somebody away does from magic to bring it swaps. back. Yeah, we, we need to find some place to to rest and recoup. You know. Yeah, he ain't coming back. He knows. He knows what waits him. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. He knows not come back. Shoot. Uh, all right. Yeah. Let's let's find some place uh, safe. We can, uh, I think resting's probably a good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to kind of like, how far past this area do you want to go? A while, probably. Yeah. <laughs> a good amount. Minimum like, mile. <laughs> something with good cover, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And no giant arm sticking out. <laughs> no. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you're kind of like, keep kind of working your way through. So... <clears throat> The ground is obviously well. It's raining, so the ground is very damp. Um, like vibrant that grid here. Better. Um, so you know, it's kind of a little little stodgy, but you're really more or less out of the marsh now. So it's just really kind of like just a lot of undergrowth and thicket. As you're kind of like picking your way through the trees, um, still on a fairly steady, it's kind of like you're starting to kind of go up a fairly steady incline now, though. Um, but after a good hour or so of traipsing in this direction, um, you have left the cliff face, the dead sentinel, and the rickety stair behind you. I imagine the ground everywhere is wet, damp, puddly. Um, yes. Uh, not anywhere to really... These trees have thick branches. You ever slept in a tree before? Yep. Uh, I, have. I have. Um, the trees would certainly get you <sighs> off the ground. Um, they're not going to do a whole lot to protect you against the rain, though. Okay. I need to get out of the wet... Uh, I'm starting to rust well, a little bit. You see doesn't me? anyone have a top we could tie it on? The front have a cover. Uh, you know what I mean? High up in the like trees. Makeshift tent, anyone? You don't have one of those in your roll? Uh, let me check. I don't remember. Yeah, that, that kind of sounds like something that, you know. Yeah, you kind of like look like the camper to me. Be about, yeah. Camper. <laughs> we got some trail mix in there too. <laughs> I, I mean, there. No, I'm not going to do that. That's not a good idea. What? What? <laughs> can I conjure a rowboat and we can prop it against the tree and 
be under it. No. <laughs> I mean, that's oh, not... Oh, waste a robo. No, what's wrong? I mean, you you could do that. It's not a waste if it shelters us. Yeah, it's not like a yeah, Instead animal. of the below water, it's shielding us from the up water. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But also, if we need a rowboat later on, yeah, you know. Oh, okay. You only got exactly. the one? Exactly. Just... Yeah, Could you be... conjure up a bunch of your dogs? Might be a bit big a to tan. drag <laughs> with you from here on out. <laughs> I mean, I can conjure up more dogs. I mean, that's definitely something I have. Conjure up um, yeah, dogs. you can like, paddle us across. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've, we've, a, you know, we've a canopy of dogs above your head. <laughs> yes, right. Dog tent. Dog tent. Would I have a tent if I have like the basic, like adventure. explorers and adventure pack things? I don't remember what's in those. Um. Can look it up. I just never write it down. Let's see. Uh, I know it has like bed rolls and stuff, but I don't recall a tent. Um, bad pet bed roll, mess tent, tinder mm, box, yep. torches, rations, whatever, and hemp rope. Yeah, no, no tent. Okay. So I'm afraid. Mm. No tents. We could tie our bedrolls together, if that's about it. When do we gotta sleep in the mud? Eat that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we slept in worse places. We could keep going if you want to find some kind of cave. It's full of... Airs. Okay. Beasts. What do y'all think? Things. I, I, you know, I'll, I'll go with the flow. Whatever y'all think is best. I just need a, I need a good rest. That's all. Let's keep yeah. going. Let's get, look around for a little bit. You, you'll find. Don't worry. Okay, well, right. I, just, I, I, I don't got a lot I can do. So, if we get into trouble, I can help you out. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Keep Mama's, going. Mama's got gotcha. you. Yeah, we're, we're gonna <laughs> keep going. Okay. Um, for how long? Can we find we suitable something. shelter or like what time of day is it yeah um it was evening i think when you got to the stair and stuff last time so it's it's late it's it's oh okay it's time for a rest i think guys <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah yeah i guess just find the biggest tree around and hunker underneath it yeah yeah maybe try to get some branches and we'll kind of like make a little lean to uh, I mean, if yeah. anybody wants, to, there are a lot of branches and rocks and things just loiter loitering around. If sure. somebody wants to put the effort in um, yeah. and wants to give me a survival skill roll. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> damn, 12. I think we'd all kind of look around and gather items. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the general. Like hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> the best right. was a twelve. Well, all you really achieve is getting even more tired. Um, you know, you've cool. gathered a whole bunch of sticks and twigs. You try to kind of like put them together, and they just don't seem to want to stand up. The best you're able to do in the end is just kind of like lay them on the ground, so that at least you're like off the wet, muddy ground itself. Um, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna give you any shelter. Oh, it is legendary, well. but not a, that, apparently. <laughs> All right, y'all. We were going to try to get some wicks or what? Who's yeah. taking first watch? Um, I can take first watch. I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty fine, so. Okay. Y'all need your rest. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm going to snuggle on up then, if that's all right. Just wake me if anything uh, gets rustling. All right, and sure. I'm going to pass out. Alrighty, um, everyone's gonna do their best to get rest. Who's taking second watch? I mean, I don't imagine anybody being, well, um, fit enough to watch all, you know, all night after. No, yeah, I'll take second watch. I'll try. Okay. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Um, well, I mean, it is far from a enjoyable night. You're cold, you're wet, you're damp. Um... I would say it barely passes as a rest, but it will. Uh, <laughs> um, so you won't have your uh, level of exhaustion, Mr. Shaggett. Um, and, um... I get full up. 
uh, and everybody can uh, get all their spells is back and all that sort of Oof. stuff. Yeah. Yay! Goodness. I just needed that because I came into that fight hurt. <sighs> oh. Nope. All righty. Spell slots. Okay, cool. <coughs> um, so it will be Oof. morning. Um, by morning, the rain is starting to subside, and within a couple of hours, it will have actually stopped. Hey, Dead Aussie oh. Gamer, thank you for the raid. Hey, Dead Aussie hey, Gamer, Dead what's Aussie up? Gamer. Thank you for the raid. We appreciate y'all. Welcome. Welcome to the show. As we say here, take your pants off, hit the high. (laughs) Sorry, immediately. (laughs) We punish you immediately here. Thanks for your viewers. Now get out. Get out. Stupid boss. Sit down and shut up. (laughs) Yeah, we'd get coming. Hey, go. That wasn't a. That was a moderator. That wasn't the bot. (laughs) There's no fun or anything in this stream. Don't ruin the immersion. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important in this in this stream. Oh, well, you know why? It was you. probably just because of night- the sheer volume of the same. It was Nightbot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nightbot. We need to turn that off because oh it probably yeah, <laughs> bums everybody out. Awesome. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that though. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Joy. <laughs> yeah. The librarian. Yeah, it's because you spanned this. This is because you spanned that one emote so much. It was like no, no. <laughs> But anyway, welcome to the show. Good to see you guys. Alrighty. Um, well, it is going to be morning by now. Um, so you've rested up. As we said, not a very comfortable and enjoyable rest, but you've kind of at least got some sleep. Um, okay. Now you can kind of see through, you know, the there's a fair amount of mist in amongst the trees on a low level because obviously with all the rain as the sun starts to shine down you can kind of see those like beams of light that are kind of like cutting down through the trees themselves um but through the canopy um you can indeed see in the direction that you are heading um as it continues to kind of like head up a steady incline you can see through the trees um, the outlines of rock and mountains. Good news, I see mountains. I think we're going the right way. Way to go, Legolas. (laughs) (laughs) I see mountains? Oh, a question. (laughs) Those mountains. Come on this way, this way. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hold then, on, hold on, let me get up. I'll guide you up. to the mountains. Right. Okay. <laughs> follow me, follow me. <laughs> follow. No, don't look at the mountains, just follow me to the mountains. <laughs> right. Gonna watch out for anything trying to jump out at us, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, for a place that's supposedly full of danger and hideous things there hasn't been a great deal of it but at the same time with that colossus back there not too far back maybe nothing else wants to be in this vicinity it's like no no we'll we'll keep our wickedness and evil away from your little niche of wickedness Mm. and evil and we'll have our own over here so (laughs) smart (laughs) alrighty well um you continue to work through the forest um as i said um it has kind of stopped being you know the downpours have stopped in fact by mid-afternoon it's altogether a little humid um Hmm. because all the damp and the sun coming down it's now kind of you know you are out of the swamp but it reminds you of that kind of swampy atmosphere that you endured a few days ago yep so so the only thing that um lasticus would do as we're walking is I, I want to see if there's any evidence of that Sentinel Colossus making it this far in, or if it was really just a watch guard for the top of that um, climb, basically. All right, give me a survival skill roll. Do I see any giant undead footprints? <laughs> <laughs> all right, survival. <laughs> oh, hey! What a great roll. Natural <laughs> 20! <laughs> That's, That's how I roll my 20s for the meaning. Well, I mean, it's a skill roll, so it's not the same, but it is a 20, so um, you get your 20. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, you are definitively sure um, 
probably much like everybody else's, that there are no ginormous, <laughs> colossal footprints that you're having to kind of like maneuver around. However, yes. um, while you're looking for those, what you do find are numerous sets of regular humanoid footprints. Um, but more interestingly, they are kind of semi-obscured with like, as if somebody put an effort in to mask these tracks, um, which is probably why nobody else would have spotted them. But, um, yeah, okay. somebody actually, there, there has been somebody else walking through this, through this area, but they, at best guess, they probably like were dragging like a, a leafy branch behind them to kind of obscure their footprints as they went. But they only did a half-assed kind of job. Is any sense of how many of these sets? Um, probably, your best guess is it's the same set of footprints a couple of different times, kind of crossing over on each other. Okay. Um, but it would only be one, it looks like one individual. So I'm going to go up to there and be like, look, 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 someone, someone's covering their tracks. Over there and over there, but there's the crisscrossing. You see? Look, Lira, look. I'm looking, oh. I'm looking. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, yes. They're playing yeah. uh, it's a little game I call called Crisscross. <laughs> oh. yeah, that, that's not it at all. No, it's probably and the, the, the depth, guy. The depth of the footprints are a little different as well, so it's probably oh. older footprints oh, and newer see. footprints that kind of. Yeah. Okay. I, I, think, I think it's the guy we're going to try to see on the ledge, right? The, the, the plateau guy. The plateau guy. Maybe. Oh, the plateau guy. Yes, the plateau guy. You mean uh, my, my uh, notes are my Ar Arma something? Armageddon. Arma. Right, that, that's it. <laughs> Ar Armitage? Ar Arma Arnold? Was it Arnold? Arnold. Armitage. Hey, Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Armitage. Arnold Palmer. Armitage. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah, it was Armitage. <laughs> Dang, my notes are in a different. Yeah, Armitage. Room. Uh, Armitage uh, Longbottom. Oh. I think it was yeah, long bottom. Bottom. That's right, because yes. he had a silly name and that made me giggle, but he I was did. trying to be polite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. <coughs> okay. I think we all had a bit of a giggle friends. there. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. short okay. bottom. Why are they covering their tracks, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Well, he did do a very good job, I mean, but, you know, maybe... Oh, maybe he's, he's a hermit, somebody... right? He doesn't want to be followed. Yeah, and really stay hermited. So, good, good hermitage. <laughs> hermitage. I don't know about, don't know about um, that. <laughs> okay, so let's just follow these tracks. Okay. All right, lead the way. We're right behind you. Okay. All right, so you're going to specifically follow the tracks as opposed to just head towards the mountains? Yeah. I, I will point Lyra to the freshest <laughs> tracks I can find, so we're not just like going over old tracks. <laughs> just walking. And also tracks that are circles. going towards the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, mid to late afternoon, then. Uh, let me. Let's see. Um, One second. Okay. Um, mid to late afternoon, you guys will kind of come to the edge of the thickest parts of the forest. And you can see the mountains ahead of you. However, um, what draws your eyes to it is a small stack of smoke rising up. Um, from the distance that you are back, you can actually make out what appears to be a small makeshift hut nestled up on the top of um, a, of a ledge um, that is kind of like, almost like a stepping stone to the mountain itself. Um, it is about a 200 foot wow. climb. Are there and, any ladders about? Uh, no, <laughs> that are obvious. there's no obvious visible oh, yeah. way up there from from where you can see from this distance at the very least. Where do the footsteps go? Um, the footsteps lead in this direction. 
Okay. Curious. Do you think this is the type of hermit that like shoots on sight, or uh, is just, you know, those hermits? <laughs> well, maybe. I mean, I don't know if it has to. I mean, do you think maybe the hermit has something to do with that guy back there? Oh. No. Nah. <laughs> well, let's just okay. announce ourselves politely and just see where we Maybe. get. Okay. Oh, you want to sneak around? Well, did I we don't... ever get any indication that this guy was like bad? Like, do we no, think he's gonna hurt us? No, I, think he I was don't think to we help should... us. Yeah, we don't. We don't need to sneak. I mean, and he's that on... might freak him out more, right? If we just like happen upon his hut. I, right. I think. We want were to told see us. he was going to guide us through the mountains. So he maybe he's fine with yeah, little they, visitors. The priestess has told you um, basically that if anyone knew the mountains well, it would be him. Yeah. So perhaps he would have more information about the mountains than anybody else would have. Um, but they never really indicated anything beyond that. Okay. okay. They never said, wonder, oh, he's a lovely yes. man or, oh, he's an <laughs> asshole. You know. I wonder how he gets around the colossal, though, if there's a different way or... Maybe they're just buddies. Well, let's not mention that we had anything to do with it unless we're clear that he's like not into it. Okay. Right? So we'll you know, Fido, it. have you? My pet Colossus. He went <laughs> wandering off the other day and I haven't seen him since. <laughs> okay, last He's about, your job. um, yeah. yay, hi. <laughs> your job when we meet him is to figure out if he could do that type of magic that could create such a giant, scary Colossus. I mean, colossal, colossal. If there, I, I I appreciate the vote of confidence, but, but if you like, just look at me. Could you tell that I could do magic I just by looking so. at me? Yes, look at your coat. What's well, not like a you traditional look the wizard's sword. robe? That's clearly a wizard's coat. The pockets. <laughs> what else could you got going for you? It's got to be magic, right? That that's what I would assume. You're like, well, he doesn't have plate. He doesn't have a bow. He must be a magic guy. Well, Does he have a, a little wink? At in his eye, like this, you know what I mean? Okay, you I'll, always I'll, just have that, that little that spot. Yeah, yeah. You Lyra, with the stars <laughs> wink, what? Yeah, yeah, Lyra, I'll look to see if he has a wink in his eye from what, like 300 feet away? I mean, Does he have a pointed no, hat? Yes or no? Him. What else do you need to know? Yeah. <laughs> While we talk to him, look out for the wink. Okay. I will so look I'm out saying. for the wink. Sure. So, what's our plan here, gang? Are we gonna go right on up? Are we gonna try to sneak up there? I'm sure he's got some little path that gets him up there. There's no way he's climbing yes. that whole thing. Okay. Uh, also, we can't really sneak because you guys claim. Right. You, you, so I didn't loud. say I was gonna sneak. Someone else was gonna sneak. No. I'll let's let's he... follow the footsteps and be sl- kind of Friendly? loud so he knows we're coming. And I. Okay. Can okay. we talk okay. about how casual <laughs> we just? Really want a guide let's, to, yes, to let's help talk, us. Yes, let's talk yeah. to each other loudly, Friendly. like we're having a conversation. We, we don't about need to the talk, weather. We yeah. don't need to talk loudly. Fifany Fenifer, just walk towards it. That's what I'm saying. Let's yeah, just yeah, go miss ourselves. Yeah, let's just, talk too, because that's fun. Yeah, I love talking about I'm people. Sick of, I'm sick no, of no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, P- pickle juice, pickle juice. <laughs> You can't just say one when we say one thing. Yeah, we're allowed to talk You're about abusing a little it. bit. That's right. You're like crying wolf over here. It's calling the nuclear option on everything. I've said thing. it in like a week. Like it's not abuse. That's the wrong time said. to say it, Lasticus. We or else it's not going to have any meaning. That's Thank right. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're just walking up arguing the whole time about pickle juice. <laughs> you should hear that. <laughs> All right. Um, well, yeah. Keep following the footprints, and they will lead you to a this kind of area around I here. Be following Lyra, I don't actually know where they are. So, yeah, I'm right behind you guys too. Okay. We're actually moving over there. <laughs> just like he stood back there. and was like listening right to there. them argue, and then he was like, "I suppose I better go." <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. I, I was here first. Um, you weren't. I was. Um, so yeah, when you get to where the footprints kind of stop, they stop pretty much here at the base of the cliff face. Um, the cliff face is very kind of like staggered and and like rough and rugged. There's plenty of places that you could put handholds or footholds and stuff like that. For climbing a 200 foot cliff, it doesn't look like the worst potential climb. Um, anybody with reasonable climbing skills could probably achieve it. Um, armor pending, of course. But um, there's no visible ladders 
ropes, anything like that that would indicate how this guy gets up and down. Um, but it's entirely possible he could lower a rope, climb down, go about his business, climb back up the rope, and pull it back up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've read stories of towers and loads of plus two spears. People at the top they let down the their long blonde hair. <laughs> I think he's got long blonde hair. He's probably got long gray scraggly hair. Why don't we? Why don't we call up to him? Uh, he hello, hello. You're gonna like bellow up the. On the touch, Mister Longbottom. Yoo hoo! Okay. It's us, um, young man. You see a small, teeny tiny red cylindrical object come flying from off the top of the edge. Like, just fly over and come zooming down towards you. Um, does anyone want to make an attempt to catch it, or you want to just let it hit the ground and see what it is? I'm putting my shield up. I'm dodging it. <laughs> okay. yeah, like, oh. So you're all going to kind of move away and let it hit the ground? Yeah. Just throwing junk. Okay, it goes, well... Oh. Um, there is one shiny red apple now on the bottom, um, kind of like <laughs> slightly indented into the ground. What? Is, what is it? Okay. Is it um, dynamite? It's an apple. <laughs> yeah, it's what? just a, an apple. Oh. Right check, here. check if there's a letter on it or a note. I sometimes cough messages into apples. <laughs> oh, really? That's a thing you do? I have... Oh, yes. Okay. We'll oh, take yeah, a look, right. I guess. Uh, th sure, I guess. Thank, you. thank you for the apple, but we're not hungry. Be no, I'm fail. starving. Do <laughs> you have any yes. peanut butter? I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> were were you trying to hurt us with the apple throw? Well, usually, when when people throw a fruit, it means uh, go away or no, you're that's ugly. vegetables. That's yeah, like cabbage, that's usually, tomato. Mm -hmm. um, is tomato Broccoli. a vegetable or a fruit? Tomato. Well, you know, that's, well, that's the age-old question, ain't it? Keen <laughs> sure debate is. on that, but I'm just saying, apples don't get thrown. Okra. We talked about this. All I'm saying. I hey, don't let him throw a rutabaga down there. I think it's personally. I think it's a fruit. So he's throwing his version of a tomato at us. Okay, so you're offended by this apple. So you don't mind if we take a little snack on it then? No, I'd like some, please. Okay, well, I didn't want you to eat the hate apple, so I thought maybe. Don't you eat just... the hate apple. <laughs> Let's cut it up. We have been sent by the priestess. Of the church Gestai. of Gestai, Gustai. <laughs> Go, got it, got it. Gustai. Gustai, all right. <laughs> That's something, I guess. Uh, and, and Eastus, the, the lady of Eastus. Priestess of Eastus. We're, we're here to help, but we need your help. <laughs> Please. Okay, um, you hear it's a voice. It's our fate. <laughs> kind of like bellow down at you uh, with a resoundingly pleasant I've thrown you a bloody apple now piss off what? okay well there are four of us so I mean at the very least no okay three... without further ado you <laughs> and three more apples <laughs> come <laughs> clattering right. down right. towards yeah, you yeah I, I try to catch well, I try to catch one okay. thank you <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he's nice. There. Well, he's just kind of trying to get said. trying to get rid of us. I think. Piss off. See. <laughs> While we appreciate the apples, what we need is a guide through the mountains to the beast. That's right. Just get straight to the point, you know. Yeah, I like that. I'm not a guide. I don't know who sent you here looking for me, thinking I was a guide. But I'm you, Mister Longbottom. I want to be left alone. That's why I live here, far away from everybody. What made you think I wanted visitors? That's a good point. That's a good point. <coughs> well, we're here to make your home safer? <laughs> I've lived yeah. here for nine, 30 years, and I've been perfectly safe. In fact, it's me that keeps the cave safe from, well, things of an unpleasant nature coming out of it kind of my lot in life as it were well maybe you want a vacation and you want us to help you with that there's no vacations from this 
they really don't fall for that, do they? Okay. Um, Every they, great once ever? in a while, during the winter, when it's too cold for things to come crawling out the mountains, I make my way down to the village. Yeah. Um. How do you do that exactly? Because um. Well, there was there was a thing that we in in encountered a big, nasty, huge thing. Is that what I heard? Do you, I do you heard a noise in the distance? Sounded like a mm. earthquake or some huge thing. Or <laughs> that's what it sounded like. Exactly <laughs> like that. It sounded like an angry pup. Just, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard what timing. sounded like a huge cracking. I wondered if that was what it was. What was oh, it? Yeah. The thing that you're talking about. What made the noise? Well, the cracking was that um was that the sound barrier being broken when I when I shot my thing at it? Uh no, the cracking. Uh I think it was the thing we were fighting splitting in half by the beautiful power of Pelor. Ever heard of him? Um, he's one of the, uh, one of the diatonous powers, if I recall. I don't the have diatonous much, power? Don't have much for prayer anymore, I'm afraid. Well, that's okay. Maybe we can come in and talk about <laughs> this, that, huh? This thing that is shining, whatever it was, did, destroyed, or whatever, what did it look like? Like a demon. <laughs> No, like a, like a giant, oh, giant man. <laughs> a demon it, man. It, it, it like was a demon a, man. It was a giant zombie. It a, a crawled giant out of the ground. A demon. There mm -hmm. are some giants living in the mountains, but they're not zombies. Right, they're demons. I'm trying it was to... definitely undead. Its bones were yeah, sticking out. We, we think it has to do with the thing, the beast that we're trying to kill, that kidnapped someone we're trying to save, it might have brought other things here around you. Hence. Oh, wait. So yeah. you're here to rescue somebody? Yes. Well, yes. So yes. you're not here specifically to bother me then? No, we want oh. to rescue. Well, we'd we'd like your help, I Kinda, guess. A little bit. <laughs> like just a little, a little push in the right direction, you know, to get oh, us well. to where we need to go. Mm -hmm. well, you kind of see him like peer over the top. He says, well, as long as you don't plan on staying and being a bother, I suppose I can let you eat a couple more apples and give you a little bit of time. Must say, I like my own company, but every great once in a while, it does get a bit boring talking to rocks. Um, right, we all have stories. Then. Yes. Come on. Up you okay, come. throw down the ladder, right? What ladder? Oh, oh God. dear me. Um, no, it's easy enough to climb. Just put your hands there, 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 and there. Put your feet there, there. Don't step there. Don't put your hand there, and you'll be up here in no time. See you when you make it to top. I'll put kettle on. Uh, up I go, then. I'll throw a rope down, okay, to those that need it. All right. Yeah, I'm going to follow. <laughs> yeah. I'll start climbing. <laughs> so will I. Okay, um, well, you two can give me, um, what is your passive climb? A. 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 Uh, would that be acrobatics or athletics? Um, let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me, uh, pop this. There we go. Somehow I'm in the monster. Um, so yeah, if you're going to do climbing, um, it would be, um, athletics. Okay, meh. 11. Same. <laughs> um, then Don't I will ones. need you to make a climb oh, roll. The shit. difficulty was 14. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, Lyra, you will make it to the top. Oh, oh no, no, 20! Natural 20! This was freaking 20. <laughs> Lasticus uh, will make it to the top, making it look easy. <laughs> Um, now, ladies of the Pelorian mm. faith, uh -huh. um, <laughs> if you're going to try to climb up there wearing that armor, for a start, you're going to be at disadvantage. Uh -huh. um, okay. 
I'm not saying it's impossible, but um, it will take you a lot longer, and um, you could easily fall to your significant injury, if not death. Well, I mean, we ain't going up there. How are we going to get up there without our armor? I'm not leaving it down here. No, but I mean, they're going to throw like a rope out to us, aren't they? Can you just pull us up? Can you guys just pull us up? Thinking about it. I mean, please? <laughs> yeah, right? Like We're thinking I mean, it through from here now oh, that we're okay, okay. separated. Right, right, right. What okay. do you think, Lasticus? I mean, I kind of like the quiet up here. <laughs> it's kind of nice, isn't it? <laughs> I guess we got to throw something down. <sighs> All right. I'll take out my rope. What's taking them so long? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to hand sure? one end to Lascus and I'll hold on and then throw the other rope. Uh, how the other much end down. rope do you have? Just the 50 foot rope. That's not going to cover 200 foot drop. <laughs> I throw it down anyway. Like, all right, make it up to here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You've got help after the first 160 feet. <laughs> We're not the tallest of ladies, if you recall. Uh... <laughs> make, made a, make a bridge of apples. <laughs> Apple, stairway of apples. I mean, okay, so we tie we tie the rope together. We get a hundred feet there, right? What? Well, you had two fifty foot ropes, right? Oh, you have one too. Oh, okay. Let's tie this together. All right, just climb a hundred feet, and you're good. Okay, uh, no problem. So easy. Yeah, no, we ain't doing it. Just throw us a rope. What are you doing? Well, we we only... only have a hundred feet of rope. Well, ask him if he's got more. Yeah, ask him. <sighs> he's got to have a ladder or something. Something. He <clears throat> said he didn't have a ladder. Well, ask was him he was he alive? <laughs> Just look, Mister Mr. Longbottom. You still there? <laughs> um. Well, yeah. I mean, you you can hear from inside the hut. Yep, I'm in here. What's keeping you? You got more rope. These. Hmm. Two ladies down here are quite short and can't climb very well. Oh, I've got some rope. Hold on. It's here somewhere. All right. Thank you. Right. Um, a coil of rope gets thrown out of the front door and lands on the ground here. I'm going to go yeah. pick it up. So it's another 50 feet, so we got 150 yeah. feet? Yep. All right. right. Climb 50 feet. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Do it. How bad at climbing we are. Hey, uh, Lyra? Yes? Maybe maybe now's the wrong time to mention that I could have, you know, made him climb. Oh, don't, oh, don't do that. But I'm already up here. and it, yes, I have to touch don't, me don't mention that. Okay, so don't mention <laughs> that. What are you all saying? I feel like there's something you should mention. We're just waiting for you to climb the 50 feet. We get this feeling that there's something you could be doing in our... Yeah, I got a little... little uh, listen, listen, guys. Listen, nose. listen, if you make it within 60 feet of me, I can... And then you fall. I can make your journey down very, very easy. What if we don't make it within 60 feet of you and we fall? Well, then you got fall. that armor on. You'll be fine. Yeah, That's not I how that works. <laughs> I crunch up like a little tuna can. Yeah, the, not... the, armor will the armor will increase your level of velocity in the short term and will not aid you. <laughs> Haven't you heard that thing? Um... Did you just fall down there? Yes, I just <laughs> fell down. Uh, I would like you, you to try... To show us how easy it is. Just to try fall. to climb the 50 feet. That's all I'm asking. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Why don't, why don't you start 50 Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Little, I, can, I can catch you. If you fall, I'll catch you. And, and what is this? This is going to be a... Um, what was the? It was that athletics, athletics, with athletics with disadvantage. Athletics with disadvantage. How how is how is uh, Fen's athletics? My athletics. Yeah. Does she look uh, like the athletic -y sort? Was she? Yeah. A, was she a cheerleader? For I mean, Paylor? I'm strong. I have a passive thirteen. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. I am going to cast. Um, where is it? I'm going to cast guidance. Okay. On Fen. Right. That gives her a D4 that she can add to an ability check. All right. Now just take it nice and easy. Make sure you got sure footing. All right. Okay. All I've right. done this. I've had to do this before. Um, back in my sailing days, when we'd have to sometimes just go up against a rock face and climb up it. So I, I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of experience in that. So okay, just go ahead. Spot me, right? Yeah. Just go, yeah. 
Okay. Wait, spot as in I'm going first or second? No, spot as in you're going to go second. You're going to make sure I don't fall. Hey, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. you're going to go first? No, I got, we, we, we got, nah, nah, nah. I mean, yeah. I don't want to be rude. If you, if you want to go first, you go on first. up. Go on up. Aren't, aren't dwarves like really good with rocks and mountains and stuff? They're not like climbing up. Heart, I think. Yeah, we're good at like mining them, not climbing. We're good at mining, not climbing. <laughs> well, well, you gotta you gotta climb to mine, no? Yeah. What? Do you, you ain't never mined before in your life, have you? <laughs> I prospect. I prospect. Got I don't those mind. Pickaxes, yeah, you pickaxes ain't them. doing right. Jeez. Look, I can help you if you want. Yeah, we want. We've been asking for <laughs> What do you mean if we want? What are you <laughs> doing? We've been asking for that. I know you've been asking for the last 15 Last-a-kiss. minutes, but if you really want. I want to watch them climb. Come on. No, we can do this. Fifth, okay, they well, don't believe. They don't do believe you, we can do it. Do you want me to go first or do you I want, want to go I want you to go first. I can catch you if you fall. So if you I want. No, I think I can catch you if you fall. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I think I'm you stronger catch than you. Catch a person plate mail, oh. tumbling 50 feet, I'd be getting out of the way. Well, she's so little, you know. <laughs> I think I'm stronger than you are. Okay, well, Whoa, we'll that's settle that argument. later. <laughs> I mean, it's a tr- I, I mean, okay, so you go you go and okay. just believe in yourself. Take your time. All right, so I just roll. Sh- I feel like so you're going to make an athletics in. check, um, okay. and then you get an extra <laughs> D4. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, here it. goes. Here goes. With disadvantage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say to Lyra quietly. Wait, with disadvantage? You have disadvantage. Yeah, so heavy, oh, okay, heavy okay, plate. Right, right. Maybe they should pray to Pila, you know? <laughs> Oh, Ooh, wow. 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 Look at you. Okay. Um, Do I need my four? Well, once you start climbing, you realize him saying, you know, put your hand there, 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 and there. Put your feet there and there. And there's actually quite significant places to grab hold of. Yeah, um, you know, my pointy little holes. boots kind of So you in. do indeed <laughs> make it 50 feet up um, to the okay. rope. That's for sure. Okay. Um, And with... Are you just going to kind of, after that, just use the rope to kind of help pull your way up? Yeah, and I assume they're going to help me as well, I hope, to get yeah, me up. We can grab the way. rope and with okay. whatever yeah. right. we have. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, you'll get to the top. All right. Nice. Okay, you'll I You'll be a little it. tired when you get there, but right. you'll make it. Well, well All right, your, your turn. All right, I'm going to now cast in, uh, guidance on myself. <laughs> cast it's a uh, cantrip, so I can I do that. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So athletics. Uh, see, see, Disadvantage. see if you can reach all the different handholds and footholds. Yeah, I mean, I just showed her house, and I got to put my money where my mouth is here. Uh, disadvantage. Yeah, she rolled like a beast. Ooh. Uh, okay, plus, oh, four, plus. Hold on, hold on. Plus four, plus four, or plus, plus D four, I should say. Okay. There hey. Go. Yeah. Um, there we go. And you managed to do the same and get yourselves to the top. See, oh. you could do it. Uh, see? Good job, guys. Good job. You didn't think we could. Say yeah. it. I did think you could. That's why I kept telling you to climb. And then you kept pussying out. Oh, Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Excuse me? Lyra. Gee, the math uh, on you sometimes. You want to pull up the rope? Kind of language like that. <laughs> we don't. Untie the ropes. Give two back to uh, Lyra. Or one, one to Lyra, one to me. Okay. One to the guy at Longbottom. I'm going to drop it at her right. feet. Um, Here you long go. Bottom, <laughs> Longbottom comes emerging from the um, hut, um, carrying some, like, like a little wooden tray with some steaming mugs of liquid. Yeah, hey, uh, get your laughing you. gear around this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I make it myself. Hot spiced apple cider. <gasps> that sounds good. <laughs> Jesus, oh. that was real, huh? Okay. <laughs> so he kind gonna, of walks I'm, over so to this over one to this gigantic apple tree yep. that oh, seems cool. so out of place. Like, there's an area in the rock that is like dirt, and this tree is growing there, um, and there are some bushels of apples that have been night like, picked and laying out to the side. And he goes, "Yep, there she is, me pride and joy." Brought that wow. up here as a little sapling I did. Planted it myself. Aww. Nigh on 30 years it's been growing. Been yielding fresh apples for at least a good 25 of those. And they are the most delicious, tastiest apples you've ever had. Are they? Do we think they are too? Yeah, I'm going to try some of yeah, that. Yeah, we taste it Cider. Ours. Um, I mean, they—they they have got a—they are incredibly juicy and f- um, 
very vibrant and sweet and crisp. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're, no. they're the not best apple you've ever had, but they're up there. Okay, now I mean, they're, now they're, there's nothing magical have... about them. They don't make your taste buds start to dance. And... <laughs> I was yourself. just about to ask, do we have to roll the saving throw now? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and so... it's about this time that you're kind of more vagrantly aware of this ominous looking hole over here in the side of the mountain. So that's where the bad things are? I'm going to gesture that way. That leads into the heart of the mountains and you don't want to go in there. Well, you probably do, but it's my job to tell you not to. What's in there, if you don't mind me asking? Nothing but pain, suffering, and anguish. And probably whatever it is you've come to rescue. Okay, so we do want to go in there then. Want to, Yes. Okay. Is it for you? Is it in your best interest to know? Is it? Well, how do you keep the things from coming out? What's your protection when you go in there? I don't go in there for a start. I stay out here. All right. But as you can see, as he kind of flexes his big muscles, he says, "I might be a little." Uh, a little older than I used to be, and I've seen several winters past me prime, but I'm still very handy with the axe. And uh, so, let's just say there are numbers of trolls that have gone back to their brethren, and numbers of ogres gone back to their brethren that tell a tale of woe and uh, dismay. I like to send them back with limbs missing and stuff like that. You know, send a good message. There are worse things, but fortunately they're not big enough to come through that all, so... Alright, so we're we going or what? <laughs> I ain't scared of what this guy says. I'm just trying to get a little info. We're yes, up against here. Let's, let's keep talking. We just beat this bad okay, big old that big old John Damien. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I like to hear go. the stories that they tell. All right, go ahead. Well, there's no stories really, but see, um, you said you'll come rescuing somebody. Who are you rescuing? A uh, oh. member of the royal family. Oh, like a princess or something? Uh, yeah, something like that. No, it. he's not oh, a not. royal. He's I thought he just was. A no, he's just a son of a nobleman. That's it. Son well, of I mean, a noble. Yes. Better off wasting. Spoiled, probably. Better off climbing back down there, if you ask me. Don't have much time for nobility. Ponzi stuck up things. Hey, um, in the past couple of weeks, have you seen or heard something overhead that might have swooshed by where you did i have any oh. insight on what that could have been i guess or what it's you probably saw? a dragon or something i didn't see it heard it did you hear a little tiny man screaming ah! no not that i recall because <laughs> you know he was but it's very dark <laughs> when i've heard it pitch black seems to you know i've only heard it two or three times it's got a weird sound when it goes swooshing by. It doesn't sound all natural to me. So so not like a dragon. Or like a dragon. Well, I mean, I don't know anything else to akin it to but a dragon. Hmm. They say there's supposed to be some dragons up there somewhere. I don't know where. I haven't seen them myself, but... It looks very... looks like the sort of place a dragon had perched, doesn't it? Can like you mountains, uh, I think. Yeah. Can you yeah. re can you recreate the, the the sound you hear? Like what it, the closest Well, I don't know about recreate, but maybe I can describe it for you. It sounds like it's as if something's cutting through the wind. Like it's like a whooshing sound. Like a wing. But it sounds more like it's cutting it so virulently that it's like it's almost like a natural scream to it. 
don't really know how to... Ex not like a scream made by a voice or the lungs of something, but... You know, if you swing a sword just right, you get that whoosh, real sharp swoosh sound. Mm -hmm. And if you swing it kind of cack handed like and it goes side blade, then you get more of a whoosh. Well, it's more like that fine, crisp cutting sound. Like something, whatever it is, is designed to just cut through the air with the greatest of ease. You're taking a bite of a nice big apple. <laughs> Doesn't sound nothing like no apple bites, but. <laughs> but enjoy yourself in that these. Never seems to stop growing apples, this tree, all year round, even at winter. So have as many as you like. They're very, very good for you. I've been raised to believe that only evil people eat apples. Well, then you're raised by a bunch of morons, then, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate for you. <laughs> Especially no considering you just ate one of them, proving the point. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. You did. That's like the first thing you did. <laughs> I've eaten my fair share of apples. So you're evil, then? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, that is what she said, right? That's what no. I heard. Well, that is what you said. <laughs> Only evil. You don't want to say that around apples. us. That's right. Anyway, you know what happens. <laughs> maybe we should leave uh, him alone, Longbottom alone. We'll and make our way away and. I mean, he since does. he likes privacy, and we... Well, you well, wouldn't be willing to guide us through the caves? I'm sure there's not. many twists and turns. No. What? Not going in please? there. Please? stupid. What would we say, please? Um, Magic first words, of all, I've got card. no interest in saving some bloody noble, and secondly, I've got no interest in getting my head chopped off. What if we say pretty, please? Oh, she got you there. Um, can't, can't do it? Can't say no? No. Is there anything... Checkmate. Very kindly, but No. no. Isn't there anything, um, anything you want um, that we could perhaps help you with? Yeah, make anything a deal. you need taken care of, we can make a deal. Yes, Look, I, I, a deal. I don't know what you'd have to offer. I'd like to live a very solitary, singular life up here on me little ledge. Oh, I got it. Maybe you want a, an orange tree. You know, mix it up a little bit. 30 years of eating apples. Maybe you want some a little more I exotic. more than apples. I, I, I go down I, hunting. I, I mean, yeah. you know. Fond of killing yeah. a wild pig here and there. You okay, but maybe you want a different fruit. The wild pig. They look really good when you cook them. It's true. It's delicious. Fennifer, I am not doing that eight hour dance again. But, I wasn't trying to do an eight hour dance. So is that what? thing, that thing that's making the whooshing sound, do you think that's what you're here to kill then? Sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm. Well, any uh, tips? <laughs> no, I don't really have any tips. Um,. But now you come to mention it, he said something about, did I hear a, ah, or something like that. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't, <laughs> but, um. <laughs> but it is uh, entirely probable that that thing that you're talking about might have what it is you're looking for or who you're looking for. Because quite a few weeks ago, I found this Hang on. Right, he goes into the hut and comes out with a glove. Ooh. Found mm. this laying on ledge right outside that uh, outside me Smart little noble. It's the same glove as it is. It's the I other have, matching we'll take out glove. The other one. Yep. Be like, oh, ching ching, we found a match. It's not the sort of thing I'd expect to find, but if you're saying that this beastie flew over with the and it had this noble as quarry, well, maybe that's his other glove then. That's where I'm that gonna, glove come from. I'm going to look back at the hut and be like, um, at, at nighttime, uh, how illuminated is your hut? Like, against the darkness of this... Oh, mountain? it's not at all. You don't I've have got... any lights that spill out? No. Nope. Kind of Close out the candle before he goes to bed. No, I've got a little fireplace in there, but it's well shielded. Well, the smoke from the smokestack. Now, the guess. smoke can be visible, but you won't see any light. But now, typically, with the mountains behind us, even if you're out there, you don't see the smoke at night time. Hmm. 
but the glove fell right in front of it. Uh, well, as kind as of a, over here. I can't remember exactly where, but I found it laying here between. Still, the... I mean, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, strange, but I can see. Okay, it matches, and that's what. what, what maybe, uh, maybe your 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 noble fella or whatever saw or smelt the smoke and thought, "Oh, maybe someone down there had saved me and threw the glove down." I don't know. That sounds. Yeah. I or maybe it just fell off. And happened to land here. Gloves don't really fall off unless you're wearing like cartoonishly big gloves. Well, maybe they didn't fit him properly. I don't know. Like, right? What if they? What if they got? What if, they, <laughs> what if they got like slippy gloves? You know. <laughs> what if his hands were real sweaty? Oh well, yes. Like but any, anyway, it <laughs> it is the kind of glove that we're looking for. So I guess we need to go in there now. Huh? Well. Well, yeah, yeah. Seeing as you're obviously going in. Spores out to tell you some of the things you're going to encounter in there, then. Please. <laughs> Trolls, ogres. Well, you might find some of them. But you're also going to find something rather remarkable. Treasure? Apples? Well, uh, there may well be treasure. But there's a strange contraption in there. Like a raised dais with a big lever on it. Don't know what happens if you pull it. I can tell you, though, several people have, uh, in the past 30 years, come up here looking for that. Not rescuing people, but looking for that. The lever? Aye. The contraption they come looking for. Supposedly, it leads to some ancient cache of incredible wealth. Um, but I've not been interested Elastica in this. Elastica sears my Um So uh, I've not bothered with it myself. No. Um, that being said, I don't know what there is, because, and I'm sure you've heard this old cliche before, but anybody gone in ain't come out alive. Ooh. <laughs> That'll change today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will. That's what they all say. <laughs> Maybe they maybe they found the treasure and found another way out as well. So maybe that's it. Maybe they're not dead. They just nicked the loot and sod it off. Right, they're just still living in there. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what like, this gonna... beast is. Maybe that's what it all is. It's this beast of yours. Well, mm. shall we? Yeah. But um, hmm. yeah, I'm sure you're going in there. You know, there's only been one group that have ever come here. And when I told him not to go, he did my words and left. It was this elven fellow, um, this brave-looking, tall, armoured knight, and this uh, rather dark, ominous-looking fella. Looked kind of like you, but his robes were a little bit more dingy and dusty, and he had a bit of a warty face and something altogether not trustworthy. But they came here. But they asked about some. They asked about a big giant dead thing, and I told them there wasn't none up here in the mountains. And uh, well, they went back down. It's been the thing we ran into, maybe. Maybe, maybe they come looking for that. But seeing as you found it still alive, I don't guess they found it. The uh, corpses at the bottom of that was one of them was an elf, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And one of them was armored. <laughs> oh, they uh -oh. didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, we found them. I think at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, that's Smashed. a shame. Smushed. Yep. They said they'd come to a uh, deal with that. Some that deal with something of uh, some dead abomination before it rose up or something. Mm. Well, too late for it did. <laughs> but, it rose. But we dealt with it. Oh, it's they, gone. They were very seemed very confident that they could take care of it. Elf mm -hmm. said he had some magical way of slaying the thing, and the other one said that he was been sent and guided by the blessings of Cuthbert. Oh. And the Weasley little fella didn't really say much. He seemed to be, just seems to be kept, kept, kept going. Hmm. And 
Yeah. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> Scoffed at everything they said. I didn't like that fella much, to be honest. Well, you didn't have to dislike him for long. Well, never mind. Well, either you're going to be the second group of people to listen to me and turn around and go back down with your bellies full of apples and hot spice cider, or you're going to go through that bloody hole. In which case, it's been nice knowing you. I doubt I'll see you again. Can we have a couple of uh, hot apple ciders for the road? And well, yeah, I don't know how you're going to keep them refresh. up for long, but by all means. Thank you. Anyone need anything else? I, I do have one one little request. Hmm. If you go in there and you end up getting overrun, uh, please don't come running back out screaming bloody murder <laughs> with a bunch of nasty things on your heels. Thinking mm -hmm. I'm going to save you. Because I won't. But you'll have to defend your hut here, can you? No, I'll just that? shut the door and let them kill you and leave you alone. What if they try to get into your hut? Me, we... we well, if they try to get in, then obviously I'll defend myself, but uh, I won't be saving your ass, is what I'm trying to explain to you. So get that out of your head. Fine. This is not a place to run for safety. Bringing dozens of nasty creatures with you. We, we got it. <laughs> I think it'd be quite rude, in fact, if you did. Don't worry, we're more than capable. You're be you'll be It's fine. Well, good then. Well, I've enjoyed our conversation, but I'm starting to get a bit bored with it now, to be honest. <laughs> Been almost 20 minutes, which is probably 20 minutes longer than I'm used to, so uh, I'll freshen up your ciders, grab any apples you want for the road, but when you're ready, you can uh, piss off. Oh, and there's some uh, buckets of fresh water I fetched up from the creek a couple of days ago over there, if you want some of that too. Uh, most of it was creek water. It's topped up with rainwater now. It rained like bloody hell yesterday. What the what? We MC 81 months. Take your pants off. Hit the hype. Ooh. Ooh. All right, yeah, I'm going to fill up and okay. Same. take some apples. Get some cider. Some water. Right then. Same. Well, um, same. good luck. Hope you rescue Bloody Noble, kill Beast, and not get your heads bashed in. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah, that would be. I guess. I mean, he's he's not wrong. Yeah, that's the goal. It would be, it would be great. <laughs> but a bit of confidence wouldn't hurt. But you know. Well, it's all right. <laughs> That'll be two things we done today. Ain't no one thinking. Who to wants do. to carry the torch today? <laughs> you. Who wants to carry the torch? My hands are full of apples and shield, so yeah, I have like a hot to... apple cider, so I can't. I will, I will carry the oh, torch. Great. Ain't you gonna be leading us? Shouldn't you be the one doing it? Yeah, you gotta look for traps. Oh, fine. Let me I just mean... like chug the apple cider. Ah, oh, hot, 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 hot! My throat. <laughs> no one made you do that. Yeah, why'd you do that? Hand me, because you made me hold. Give me the torch. Let's go. <laughs> You have two hands. I, I know. Put your bow on your back. No, I would if I need it. Then whip it out. I like it in my hands. Okay. My powerful hands that cause. I do advise making this much noise when you're in them caves, just so you know. <laughs> oh, okay. I heard you coming from a mile away as you beckled, beckled and argued on your way. If you're going to do that all the way through, ogres and trolls are going to know you're coming long before you know they're about. Use my inside voice. Yeah, don't worry. Well, That's a good time. idea if you've got give one, me the torch. Use it. I, I hand over the torch, kind of roll my eyes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. I've got two torches. <laughs> Get another one out, Elasticus. Yeah, I will. Wait. So I, I'm going to actually hold back and go last. Take the torch out, <clears throat> light it. Okay. So we're, we're buffered by the light. Whispering over there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Doesn't um, matter. Well, he will stand there and watch the last of you go through the go through the caveway, and then just shake his head and go back inside his little house. Okay. Um, and that's probably the best place we're going to have to stop it this Ooh. evening. 
Uh, nice, neat. Not as a cl not as a climactic oh, cliffhanger as last what? episode, but you know what? That's okay. Um, this is a good spot. Nice and clean, neat and tidy. Hey everyone, Shagget here. Thank you for watching our tenth campaign on how we roll set in Aconis. Uh, that means I've done ten of these outros, and while I usually try to be creative or unique or funny, I figured with the tenth one I should just shoot straight. Uh, especially considering this campaign is gearing up to be the funniest we've done. At least, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how would I know? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore combos, or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash shagit. Um, take solace in the fact that I didn't read off of a script this time. And that shows how bad this really is. But thanks. See you guys. Hi, I'm Jane, and I play Hello, Lyra Grant. Hello, it's me, it's me, Lyra, the legendary ranger, at your service. You know me already, but what you didn't know is I've been playing Jane on How We Roll for the past eight years now. I've done it. I've spoken my truth. I've let the cat out of the bag, all right? It's just me with a baseball cap on. That's it. So if you'd like to follow my character Jane on Twitter, you may do so at Jane on Twitch with a zero, not an O. And you're probably wondering, Lyra, what's that beautiful crown that adorns your head? Well, when people start calling you queen, you must look the part. So dragons need slaying, people need saving, uh, yada yada yada, I have to go, so busy. All right, toodaloo, goodbye. Oh, um, and peace suckers. Our next and final contestant here at the Outro Olympics, Matt Petullo from How We Roll. He is bursting with potential, teeming with talent, but just can't get his technical game tightened up enough to bring home the gold. He's been working hard in the off season. Let's see if he can put something together here magical, bring home the gold. Streamer ready. Hi, the Snuggler, Instagram, that real term at underscore, Twitter, Maddie Sweet Tweet. Thank you for watching. Yes, yes, he has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. What a great day for how we roll. What a great day for humankind. What do you know? All 20s. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. It is I, Christy. Uh, you may know me from such campaign as the last one. Anyway, now that I'm a seasoned D&D player and streamer, I'm sure you're going to be wanting more of my excellent content. You can find me in that, but mostly me, on our D&D podcast, New Crits on the Block. And if you just can't get enough of my perfect eye for wit and whimsy, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Tactics. Anyway, I should get back to this delicious glass of 20s. Cheers! Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orc's Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter, at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter, at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howryroll.com, and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys.